The Marvel Legends Netflix Marvel Knights. What's up everybody, Evo Renee for bringing another action figure review and today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Netflix Marvel Knights Anthony Build-A-Figure. Right, so let's go ahead and start with the legs. We're going to do the old twist and push. The legs are always the tough ones to get in, I don't know why. Wow, this one's super tough, I might have to do this one off camera. Alright, so yes, the legs are really hard, they take a lot of force. At least you know they won't fall off. Anyways, the arms are always the easier ones, so they have snaps in right there. This one just like that. And then we do have the head. Alright, and then just like that. Alright, there you guys have it. There is Man Thing all built. And um, he looks great. He looks a lot better than I thought he would. Uh, he really is a lot taller than I thought he would as well. But Hasbro did a phenomenal job with the sculpt work and the paint work overall. There's a lot of sculpting going on in this. You can see that's where all the budget went in there. Um, someone did mention in the groups that there is a peg hole on his back. And that is true. There is a peg hole on his back. And it looks like they were planning on giving him some sort of a moss accessory. That's what we're all thinking. To where, you know, kind of like the symbiote type of effect where it's coming out his back. Um, and they may, they may have scrapped it because of the budget. I don't know. That's a shame. You know, really, uh, that would have been just just made the figure that much better but the figure itself just looks awesome already and he's really really tall you know it's a really nice looking man thing and it's a, it's a pretty good update to the last time we got it was i think the toy biz era so there's that if you want to get a little bit of a size comparison there he is next to the movie thor which is already a, a tall figure so there's movie thor right there there's movie doctor strange here which is a shorter character so there he is next to man thing so he's a pretty Pretty big guy. But we might as well compare next to the most recent big build figure that we've gotten recently. It is the Hulk. Gladiator Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. And Hulk is still bigger. Still taller. Uh, but you can see Man-Thing's not that, not that far away. So pretty good on the Man-Thing size and, uh, and height. Taking a closer look at Man-Thing, you can see what I mean about the sculpt and the paint. Pretty good detailing there. I like it a lot. I like how they just do it green and brown. They're... There is some different colors all around the back. The sculpt overall is just fantastic. Uh, just a really great looking figure. I like this a lot. They did a good job. The face sculpt came out great. Hasbro is just doing awesome, awesome things. It's just great. So I'm glad they're listening to the fans. Uh, so articulation, the head is not on a bar joint to the hinge, but it's on a bar joint to the longer peg that kind of makes it uh, move around a lot. So it still does the job. I guess you can see it now. Uh, so you can see that, but it still does the job correctly of, uh, you know, moving. You can move the head like this and up and down. It, it goes on forward. It doesn't go on like this, so that's kind of different. I guess that's just the way man thing is, but there's that. Arms go forward and back, in and out, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, swivel at the wrist with a hinge, ab crunch, swivel at the waist. There is a joint to legs going forward and back in and out a lot of range of motion there thigh swivel that's super tight double joint to knees ankles go forward and back and there is an ankle pivot as well all right so and there you have it that's about it he doesn't come with any accessories no alternate heads or anything like that it's just man thing and it's great it's a great looking build figure it's a great man thing and i say it's worth the build uh the wave is pretty solid it's not the best of the best um i only ended up keeping punisher and daredevil i didn't really care about the rest to be completely honest so it was a kind of a wave that i kind of passed up that's why you didn't really see any reviews on it but um not to say they're bad figures i just not really in am interested and everybody in the way but i am very interested in this build figure and it is great so if you guys are interested in the build figure alone go ahead and make the build and just sell off the rest of the figures if you guys don't care for them but the man thing is worth it so i really like this build figure a lot i say go build it they did a great job paint sculpt and likeness is all there 100 percent so good job Hasbro. really happy with it so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed the review please leave a like comment subscribe if you guys like and don't forget to have a great day bye